Hello, this is Matt Moser um, of Alchemy Solutions, a partner with Alchemy Solutions. And what I'd like to be able to do today uh, is, as part of our continuing series of uh, instructional videos, is to show you how you can, through Visual Studio 2008, which is running right here, um, attach to a database, very verify you have a good connection, and so forth. You can also do it through Fujitsu COBOL. Um, but with this particular tutorial we're going to cover it within Visual Studio 2008 and then you will see other tutorials on how to do it through Fujitsu COBOL. Um, so without too much ado we'll click on the tools menu and connect, click on connect to database. An earlier tutorial showed how to do Microsoft Access database file using OLADB in order to generate a connection string. In this particular case we're going to change it um, to SQL Server because that's the one that we're going to focus on for this particular tutorial. Um, you could use ODBC data source if you have one. I will cover that in another tutorial with Fujitsu COBOL. Con continuing on a little bit further we have Microsoft SQL Server selected and what is uh, pretty cool here is it comes up it has it specified as Microsoft SQL Server SQL Client. Um, in this particular case we're just going to leave it as is just wanted to show you that you can select and change it from there. Um, we're going to click this down arrow and on my particular machine um, I have a remote machine which I have SQL Server running on on my CES Dell and in this particular case I have it in my MM laptop. This is where my server name is located. So without too much ado we select that. I'm using Windows Authentication um, you can use SQL Server authentication and have a username and password. Um, in this particular case we're going to continue down a little bit further, select the database and I have a MattDB and from there I can go ahead and I can click on the Advanced tab and when clicking on the Advanced tab I can see that it filled in my source, um, my DB that I want to go to and lo and behold you have your connection string and so you can copy and use that connection string within your application um, or again later when I show you how to do it within Fujitsu COBOL um, you'll notice the connection string is the exact same one so we'll click OK here click test connection and happily our test connection succeeded so this is a good way to uh, verify that your connections are good and without further ado, I think we'll wrap up this one and continue on another one here shortly. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Bye.